Welcome to Danielle and Brianna's News Report. Here's Brianna with our news. Starbucks is calling a limited time beverage that changes colors and flavors with a stir of a straw, a unicorn frappuccino. The chain says the drink was inspired by the trend of unicorn themed food online and starts out purple with a sweet and fruity taste. It changes to pink and tart after it's stirred to mix in a blue drizzle. It will be available from April 19th to April 23rd in the United States, Canada and Mexico with a 12 ounce size containing 280 calories. Earlier this month, the Seattle-based Starbucks also introduced a pink drink made with coconut milk topped with strawberries. The company said it had previously been a customized drink that enjoyed fandom online. Here is Danielle with our commercial. Do you hate when your parents or siblings bother you to do chores or help around the house? Well, now you won't have to hear them with the new Hear No More. These are earbuds that will block out any sound that you wouldn't want to hear. Buy them at Walmart for $1,000 each earbud. They will be sold February 38th. Now here's Brianna with some of our weather. Today, periods of rain, breezy and cool, high 54 and land 53 short. Tonight, rain and fog, low 50, coastal flood advisory in effect for Fairfield and New Haven counties from 10 p.m. tonight through 1 a.m. Wednesday. Wednesday, I expect some periods of rain in the morning, then the rain tapering off into scattered showers in the afternoon. Low 50, high 64 inland, 62 short. Thursday, areas of fog in the morning, then partly sunny and warmer. Low 52, high 78 inland, 72 short. Here is Danielle with the rest of the week. Friday, partly sunny and warm, an afternoon, evening shower or thunderstorm possible. Low 57, high 80 inland, 73 short. Saturday, partly sunny and warm, a chance for an afternoon shower or a thunderstorm. Low 58, high 80 inland, 73 short. Sunday, mostly cloudy and cooler, a chance for showers. Low 56, high 72 inland, 70 short. And here's the last day of the week, Monday. A chance for a morning shower, then partly sunny, breezy, warm, and humid. Low 54, high 82 inland, 73 short. Now here's Brianna with the word from our sponsors. Do you hate wearing braces on your teeth? Now you don't have to. Now you can come and get the brand new tooth adjuster. Buy now for only $599. Only two are available, so buy fast. This new product will be placed on your teeth and will make your teeth straight within one day. Buy it now at your local supermarkets. Here is Danielle with our news. A Montana State University professor is suing Walmart for libel after he says an employee at the Bozeman store listed his occupation on a fishing license as toilet cleaner. Gilbert Colon, assistant professor of technology education at MSU, filed the suit this past week in Gallatin County District Court. Colon is seeking unspecified damages. Walmart spokesman Regan Dickens told the Associated Press, to our knowledge, an administrative process to resolve this with Dr. Colon is ongoing. We've not been served with the lawsuit, but we take the claim seriously and will respond appropriately with the court. According to the complaint, Colon bought a fishing state license in April 2015, showing the Walmart employee identification of his employment at MSU. But the Walmart employee entered clean toilets into the state's database as Colon's occupation. The suit contends Walmart exposed Colin to hatred, contempt, ridicule through the incident. Here is Brianna with your sports. Drake will host the NBA's first ever awards show this June. The Canadian rapper will preside over the June 26th ceremony in New York, which will be televised live on TNT. The Rookie of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Sixth Man Award, Most Improved Player, and Coach of the Year will be announced during the show. The league and Turner Sports say other awards will be open to fan voting. Those categories and finalists will be announced later this week. Here's Danielle with the sports.
Red Sox pitcher Matt Barnes has been suspended four games and fined for throwing a fastball pass that had a Baltimore star Manny Machado. The commissioner's office issued the penalty Monday. The Red Sox are off and Barnes is appealing, meaning the reliever can continue to pitch until the process is done. Barnes was ejected Sunday after sailing a fastball pass Machado's helmet at Baltimore. The right-hander is 2-0 with a 3.60 arrow in nine games this season. On Friday night, at Camden Yards, Machado made a late slide that injured Boston's second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. On Sunday, Machado batted in the sixth inning and dodged out of the way when Boston starter Eduardo Rodriguez threw three pitches down and in around the knees. Machado came up again in the eighth, and Barnes' fastball whizzed behind his helmet. The Orioles and Red Sox play again next Monday at Fenway Park. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next Monday for our next news report. Starbucks is calling a limited time beverage that changes colors. <laughs> Where's that going? What's going on? Can you show me? <laughs> <laughs> that changes colors. <laughs> hey, you have to go down there. Can you watch that? Do you feel like you're ever in the dark? Well, now you don't have to with the all new light. Do you feel stuffy in the morning? Well now you won't have to with the new product. You'll make your Periods of rain, breezy and cool. I 54 inland, 53 short. Tonight, <laughs> tonight, and the fog, low 50, coastal flood advisory in effect for Fairfield and New Haven counties from 10 p.m. tonight to 1 a.m. Wednesday. Bye. Oh, that wasn't the argument in my segment. Do you feel stuffy in the morning? Well, now you won't have to with the new product. Wednesday, periods of rain in the morning. Uh, sorry, then rain tapering off into Saturday's gas. <laughs> <laughs>